Berzite University, often abbreviated as BZU, is a non-governmental public university located in Berzite, Palestine, near Ramallah. Established in 1934 as an elementary school for girls, Berzite became a university in 1975. Berzite University, with the highest admission averages among other Palestinian universities, offers graduate and undergraduate programs in information technology, engineering, sciences, social policy, nursing and health sciences, economics, and management. It has nine faculties, including a graduate faculty. These offer 47 BA programs for undergraduate students and 26 MA programs for graduate students. History Berzite School for Girls was founded in 1924 by Nabi Nazir as an elementary school for girls from Berzite and the surrounding villages. It was one of the first schools in the region. In 1930, it broadened its scope to become a co-educational secondary school, and in 1932, it was renamed Berzite Higher School. In 1942, the name was changed to Berzite College. In 1953, a freshman higher education class was incorporated, followed by a sophomore class in 1961. The year 1948 was a turning point in the history of Berzite College. By the spring, the political situation looked precarious, and Berzite administrators worried that the school year which normally ended in June would be interrupted by events connected with the withdrawal of British forces and the end of the British mandate lasting since 1917. The administrators decided to complete the semester curriculum by April, scheduling the graduation ceremony for April 30, 1948 and to be held under the auspices of Abd al-Qadir al-Husseini, the chief commander of the Army of the Holy War. However, he was killed on April 8 at the Battle of al Castel by the Jewish paramilitary force Haganah, who were defending positions on that hill on the outskirts of Jerusalem. In 1975, Berzite College changed its name to Berzite University. In April 1976, Berzite University was accepted as a member of the Association of Arab Universities. University President Hannah Nasser was deported by Israel in 1974. He was allowed to return in 1993, with the signing of the Oslo Accords as part of the peace process. The university was closed from 1988 until 1992 by the Israeli army saying they were nests of anti-Israeli violence. The university was the last of six in Israeli-occupied territories to reopen. Board of Trustees Berzite University is governed by an autonomous board of trustees composed of educators and professionals from the Palestinian community. The board appoints the president of the university. It also confirms the appointment of vice presidents and deans upon the recommendation of the president. The board approves the budget and general development plans presented to it by the university council. Administration the university follows a semester system, with two four-month semesters beginning in autumn and spring, and shorter two-month two semesters in summer. Support comes from numerous Palestinian, Arab, and international foundations, as well as from various individuals. Faculties Through its nine faculties, including the graduate faculty, Berzite University offers a wide range of graduate and undergraduate programs in various fields, where students can choose from 47 Bachelor of Arts programs and 26 Master of Arts programs. Each faculty is constituted from several academic departments that offer specialized courses in all fields. In addition to majors, Interested students who want to pursue an extra set of courses in areas other than their majors can be enrolled in minor courses. Although the official language of instruction is Arabic, the university offers several courses in English. The educational system is based on four semesters, two summer semesters, one fall, winter semester in one spring, summer semester, academic profile, new graduate and undergraduate programs in information technology, engineering, sciences, social policy, economics, 
and management are being developed. The university campus is being expanded. At the same time, Burzite University's various community centers and institutes engage in policy-oriented research to assist in the economic, social and human development of Palestine. The university offers numerous undergraduate and postgraduate degrees through its seven faculties at Commerce and Economics, Engineering, Nursing, Pharmacy and Allied Health, Sciences, Law and Public Administration, Information Technology, and Graduate Studies. The Graduate Studies programs offers postgraduate diplomas and master's degrees in the following fields. Contemporary Arabic Studies, Arabic Islamic History, Education, Sociology, International Studies, Democracy and Human Rights, Economics, Law, Community and Public Health, Water and Environmental Engineering, Water and Environmental Sciences, Gender, Law and Development, Business Administration, Applied Statistics, Scientific Computing, Urban Planning and Design, and Medical Laboratory Sciences. The university all also offers two high diplomas in Primary Healthcare, and Gender, Law, and Development. In addition to its academic programs, the university has a wide range of institutes, centers, and programs that aim to develop and support the community-oriented programs that contributes to the achievement of sustainable development in Palestine. The Palestine and Arabic Studies program was established over 20 years ago at Burzite University. Through PAR, international students benefit from accredited courses in Palestinian history, culture, the Palestine question and the Arabic language. International students Students can take full advantage of the university facilities and interact with local students through clubs, societies, social events and recreational activities. Students can choose from a range of extracurricular lectures and schedule visits to places of historical, cultural and political interest, and volunteer for social projects. International Summer Work Camp Since 1981, Burzite University has been organizing international summer work camps, aiming to achieve BZU's mission. Build generations that are open to the world, provide an opportunity for cultural exchange, introduce the Palestinian cause, and reinforce the Palestinian core values of careering, respect, peace, and acceptance of the other. The camps focus on community-oriented volunteer projects in schools, municipalities, and civil society organizations. They introduce participants to several geographical places in the West Bank. The international summer work camps include voluntary work, visits to Palestinian cities, villages and refugee camps, and other Palestinian universities. Furthermore, it provides an opportunity for foreign participants to meet Palestinian families, political and community leaders, as well as Palestinian academics. Notable people. Currently, there are a number of professors who are also appointed as ministers in the current Palestinian government. Thirteen members of the Palestinian negotiating team in the U.S.-sponsored Middle East peace talks were faculty members of Burzite University. Hanan Ashrawi taught literature there. Stanley Cohen, the South African, later English sociologist, worked at Burzit in support of Palestinian staff and students while a professor in criminology at the Hebrew University. Between 1980 and 1996, alleged exclusion of Israeli Jews. In September 2014, the leftist German Rosa Luxemburg Foundation and the Center for Development Studies at Burzite University organized a conference entitled Alternatives to Neoliberal Development in the Occupied Palestinian Territories, Critical Perspectives. The left-wing Israeli Haaretz journalist Amir Ahas was asked by two Burzite lecturers to leave on account of a rule against the presence of Israelis. She said that she had attended the university many times and had never heard of such a rule. The international conferences organizers were offended. The regional head of the Rosa Luxemburg Foundation Katya Herman stated after the incident that she would not have agreed to hold the conference at 
Burzite if she had been aware of the policy. The university later issued a statement that the administration has nothing against the presence of the journalist Hass. The university as a national institution differentiates between friends and enemies of the Palestinian people, dot, and works with every person or institution that is against the occupation. In a previous incident, Israeli anti-Zionist historian Ilan Pape had been invited to deliver a lecture at Burzite which was held off campus, as not to infringe with the alleged ban on Israeli Jews.